Uh, hello guys, today in this tutorial I will basically show you a visual timeline UI editor that I developed inside FFMPG and Next.js. So this will be the project guys. So I developed here, I will be showing you the live demo here. So if I reload the project guys, you will see that it's a fully fledged video editor which has all these options in order to create videos in the browser itself. And we have a upload option to basically add videos. So let's suppose I add a video here. So there is this upload option. You can add multiple videos right here. And we have an option here to basically add this in, in the timeline. So basically this is a timeline editor guys. You see basically in various paid softwares. I am offering you basically I have created this project in Next.js using Tailwind JS. Uh, fabric JS and FFMPG in the browser. So now we have a plus icon right here guys. You will see that the plus icon we can add any video in the timeline here like this. We can resize the video here accordingly. If I want to here you can see how easy it is to resize the video. So it's very good alternative guys if you want to create videos in the browser itself for your YouTube channel or any social media channel that you have. It's a great project and the link is given guys in the description. You can purchase the full source code at stripe.com in Indian rupees or uh, United States dollar in PayPal. Check out the full description for all the links. So you can see I've added this video and now if I play this video, let me turn on the volume here so that you can hear the volume. You can see this is the, I haven't spoken anything in the video. You can see it's a nice little video of 30 seconds. And now if I want to merge the second video as well guys, I will simply add it to the timeline. So there are various options out there where here you can add it. You can add audio as well. There is an audio option as well. You can upload an audio file. If you have an audio file which is there, you can upload a mp3 or any audio file that you want to. So we can simply plus and add this. You can see in the elements panel here, we have added this audio. You can see we can remove audio like this. We can add this. So it's very simple guys how we can do that. Now if I play the video, you can also see the audio audio file playing in the background as well. You can see. So now you can see that guys the audio file is also playing. And now let me show you the project structure guys after purchasing the source code. You will basically get this source code. It is developed using Next.js. If I show you the package.json file, we are basically using this uh, libraries here, anims.js. These are the packages we are using, anim.js. We are using basically fabric.js as I already told you. In the background, we are using FFMPG guys. It's an open source library for video and audio processing. And in the CSS, we are using Tailwind CSS. It's a very popular framework in uh, CSS, Tailwind CSS. And basically guys, uh, you can also crop your audio file if you don't want to get all the audio file. So what I can do is that I can simply cut this. Uh, there is an option here. Basically, you only need to export 30 minutes of uh, I have this option here. Let's suppose in the export option, you can export your video. So there is an option here, you can provide here any, you can crop videos. Let's suppose I only want the first five seconds of the video. I can simply write here five. So now guys, it will basically only export up to five seconds. So, so the first five seconds of the video, if I play here, only the first five seconds of the video will be exported guys. So now again, if I click this button here, export five seconds. So again it will play guys for exporting purposes. Now your video file will be downloaded guys. You can see that we are downloading in web webm format. It's a popular from format. We can now play our output video guys. You will see that the video has been edited. The sound has been added in the background. You can see the if I play the video the sound is playing in the background. You can see guys, it's a visual timeline UI video editor that I developed in Next.js. If you want this project guys, the link is given in the description. You can purchase the full source code. After purchasing source code, you just need to simply start this project here by simply say npm i. And after that, you will install all the dependencies and just write npm start. So this will start your project at localhost environment. And after that guys, we can even add images as well. Let's suppose if you want to add images, 
we can even add images as well to this timeline so let's suppose i pick this image i add this image right here we can add this image right here and then we can add multiple images right here we can add this image so it's a fully fledged editor guys very advanced editor that i built from scratch and now you can control the time timings as well guys so basically you can control the in which location the image should appear so basically the image should appear like here the second image should appear you can control the duration by simply dragging it like this so it's very easy guys so in which location the now if you play this the image appears like this the image will appear like this we have also animations out there guys also if i click the animation tab you can have a fade in animation fade out animation slide in slide out breathing so if i have the fade out animation applied to this image i will select the second image slide in so now if i play the video guys you will see the animations popping in you can see that it's very good animation guys you can just elongate the image so that it is seen properly now if i play this video so you can see guys how easy it is to apply animations as well so what i will do is that i will go to the export tab and i will change back to 30 second here so you can see that so we can move images where they appear we can control everything here we can apply animations as well i already told you so now we have also the options of applying text as well guys so let's suppose i want to add a heading at the starting of the video i can simply say here you can add images text anything you want to hello world and basically now this text has been added here in the timeline you will see that you can also control this text as well so just control wherever it appears after this image so you can even apply animations to this text as well guys so let's suppose i apply this animation to this one and now if i play the video guys you will see that if i play the text is coming here i think there is prop we need to elongate the video here so the video is about 30 second long so yeah we need to elongate the video the first image file if you see here so we can remove images guys very easily we can add once again this image like that you can place any image anywhere else you can have multiple images right here you can place anywhere else so the possibilities are endless guys you can basically it's a good video editor that i developed in the browser using ffmpg so you can basically purchase the full source code guys and you can have your own video editor in the browser itself it's a very cool little project i developed and uh, if you need this source code the link is given and uh, if i now play the if i want to apply effects to any of the images you can also apply these effects as well to your video file as well so now this video file will be you can see you can apply various effects to this video file in real time you can make your video black and white and now we can simply export this video 
once again the video will play here and after it basically runs for 30 seconds the video will be exported in the webp format it's a very great alternative for paid softwares that you see guys in video editor it's a very good alternative and it's built up using uh, FMPG and Next.js so it's a trendy framework in uh, react so you can easily deploy this in your own website if you want to Uh, I think we made some error here. Let me just uh, remove everything here and I think uh, we need to add this video once again. There was a video. We add this video plus you can play with this video uh, video editor guys. As I showed you how basically you can add this heading here, change to any heading, hello world, you can control in which location the text wish. Showed you animations. Let me see. So you can see, guys, how easy it is. Basically, you can add another image here. So timeline makes it very easy, guys, to basically control things. So this is, you can see that the text appearing and then now the image will appear. You can resize the images accordingly guys, it's totally up to you where you need to place your image. And now you can export the video here. So for exporting, one, one other time the video will play here. After it plays successfully for 30 seconds, it will export. You can take as many length of videos, totally up to you. It works in the browser and basically it takes some time for processing the video. You can see the video is I think 30 seconds long. So the video will play at full stretch. Now you can see 4.2 megabytes the video has been exported. In the earlier I think the error was coming because we not running the video for full 30 seconds. So now you can see that. Now the exported video contains the images that we added right here. And uh, let me elongate this video to full 30 second. So now we can even apply animations I already told you guys. Basically we can make this video black and white as well. So again if I export this you can also see if we apply these uh, filters then also our video will be exported successfully so there is no thing out there that I am showing you that it is not working so everything everything is working perfectly So video is downloaded, you will see that. Now the video will be black and white, you will see that. So it's a very good editor guys, if you want to make uh, videos in the browser. From text and images, you can edit your videos using uh, 
various filters, animations, text and images, you can apply it. You can also apply audio as I already showed you. And uh, one thing uh, remaining guys, if you want to basically make static videos from text, you can also make it. You can change the background color. And let's suppose if you want to place some text here. You just want to make some banner videos or introduction videos, you can also make or outro videos you can also make please subscribe something like this you can put your logo and uh, you can have this like an animation running so you can say here slide in you can control the duration here let's suppose five second and it will be coming from the right direction so if you play here you can see how it will be coming from the right direction guys and the slide in duration and you can control the let's suppose I want this video to be around 8 second and now if I play this you will see that so you can play you can just create these awesome outros as well guys you can put your own logo in the image as well and uh, let's suppose i want to now export this video i can simply export this video like this it's a very good tool guys that i developed in nextjs ffmpg fabricjs and animejs the libraries that i used here it's a very awesome project you can go to the description and purchase the full source code it's a very awesome project and uh, you can see that I personally use it in my YouTube channel as well in order to edit videos quickly because I don't want to use paid software editors or uh, it was very difficult but this one is very easy you can see the interface looks very easy for a beginner if you are a complete beginner in video editing this software is or this uh, tool that I develop in the browser so the main benefit is that guys it will it is very uh, CPU in uh, it doesn't uh, acquire your CPU it is very lightweight and it works in the browser so it's a very good you can deploy this application in the browser and you can also earn money as well using adsense and ezoic so it's a great alternative and you can change the background to any color of your choice and make your outro so thank you guys for watching this video i hopefully like it please hit that like button subscribe the channel share this video with your friends and i will be seeing you in the next video